It's the greatest day of the week. Somebody on social media does not agree. guys welcome to this week's vlog this week uh, I'm gonna run you guys through a chest and tricep workout but I haven't talked to you guys since the presidential election since Donald Trump was elected president of the United States still can't hardly believe that one I'm generally uh, fiscally conservative and socially very liberal so I always have a hard time deciding on who I'm gonna give my vote to Regardless of who you voted for, even if it was different from me, I'm open-minded enough to understand that not everyone agrees with me on things, and that's okay. That's what makes this country wonderful. What doesn't make this country wonderful is all the negativity that I'm seeing after the election. I can't believe that my daughters are witnessing what's going on in this country. My daughters actually watch these vlogs, and what I would tell them is, Sure, whoever's elected president of the United States is, is you know, going to elect justices, is going to have some effect on what goes on in our society. That being said, regardless of who's elected president of the United States, my life is still going to be wonderful because I'm in control of it. Nobody else. What I'm kind of stunned by is... Uh, is this view in our world that your life is going to be either drastically changed for the better or worse depending on who's elected president of the United States. If you're sitting at home and you're depressed, you're full of anxiety, you're fearful of, of what's going, going on in this country or what's going to go on in this country, what I would suggest you do is force positivity into your life. You volunteer. You help people who can never repay you. You mentor children. You coach on football teams or basketball teams. You volunteer at soup kitchens. Everybody has the ability to force positivity into their life. Something amazing happens when you do that. And, you know, I'm not sitting on a soapbox preaching because I didn't always understand this. In the last 10 years, my life has completely changed. And the number one reason my life has completely changed is because of the volunteer work I do, because I put others before myself. Mentoring kids an hour a week um, is one of the most amazing things I do. I get to meet with that kid who may be feeling down, who may feel like the world's against them, and I force positivity into their life. I cheer them up. And it's a win-win for both of us because it makes me feel good. And, and that hour spent with that kid helping him feel better forcing positivity into his life is an hour I'm not focused on all the crap that's going on in the world. The 8 to 12 hours a week I spend coaching and, uh, and watching kids smile and making them smile is 8 to 12 hours I'm not focused on the news and not focused on all the horrible things going on in, the uh, in, in this world. If you're sitting at home and you want to be happier, you have to force positivity into your life. Sitting on your couch dwelling on all the bad things is not going to help your cause at all. Those of you who are positive, you need to be louder because the negative people are really loud right now. They are very loud. So all of you that are positive, that have wonderful things going on in your life, be loud, talk about it, cheer some people up, get out in your communities, volunteer, help people. I promise whoever's president of the United States isn't going to affect my happiness. I hope it doesn't affect yours. Um, let's go get this chest workout in. All right, guys, here is my chest workout. Generally, I will do Body Beast build chest and tries and Body Beast uh, bulk chest. 
in my training blocks, but every other training block I mix it up. Here's one of the chest workouts I wrote that I love. Um, this is just my warm up I do almost before any workout. Um, some dumbbell snatch burpees. I'll do 10 of these, um, five on each side, followed by 10 alternating med ball push-ups. And I'll go through three rounds of this. I'm not gonna show you three rounds, otherwise the video would be boring, but um, this is just the first round of snatch burpees followed by med ball push-ups. Just to get the blood moving, central nervous system awake, um, muscles warmed up. I've already done foam rolling and uh, some stretching, so a little bit of active stretching before this. Um, generally what I like to do, you're going to see coming up here, I do, um, I alternate. The first chest workout of the week, you'll see me do flat bench with an Olympic bar. The next chest workout of the week, I will do flat bench with dumbbells. And the same with incline. So this week um, you'll see me, or this today you'll see me do incline presses with dumbbells and then with an Olympic bar. This is just acclimation set. Um, I did 135, a set of 135. This is a set of 185. If I'm remembering correctly, um, I believe my, sh my right shoulder wasn't feeling real great on these. So I think I had written uh, down to do 255, five sets of five. But listen to your body, guys. It's so important to avoid injury. And since my right, yeah, you can see me right there, move my right shoulder. Since my right shoulder wasn't feeling great, I just stopped at 225, decided that today I was doing uh, my five sets of five at, at 225. Um, so a couple acclimation sets just to get used to the weight. And then, uh, and then my working sets, here's 225 for five. And that is, uh, that is set one for the workout today. Everything looks smooth there. Set two, we're gonna do superset. Um, so we're doing incline dumbbell presses followed by dips. And so one of the things that I, I like to do as well is um, if, if, one, if in one set my dips are at the end of the workout, usually I'm tired, fatigued, I can't get the most out of dips. So in my next training block, I will move dips earlier in the workout that way I'm getting the most out of them. So um, I've been, you know, for the last month, I've had dips at the end of my workout. This next training block, I'm moving dips to the front of my workout. So these are super sets. We got three sets of incline, dumbbell presses, and dips. So this is, and again, I'm only showing you one set, but this is a, a piece that attaches to my rogue squat rack called a matador. Great piece of equipment to have. Okay, set three, we've got flat bench dumbbell flies, which means uh, the second chest workout of the week, I will do incline uh, dumbbell flies. So this was another super set. We're doing um, flies with decline presses. And I think I forgot to hit the recorder on the presses, so you're not going to see those, but we did three sets of those. And then um, the last set, we did five sets of close grip dumbbell presses to finish out the workout. And that was it today. Great workout. Time for post-workout nutrition. I'm going to do one scoop of ISO 100 whey protein isolate. One scoop of Shakeology for all my greens, probiotics, prebiotics, phytonutrients, adaptogens, and then my favorite peanut butter, 20 grams white chocolate peanut butter with about eight ice cubes. I'm gonna make this up for you guys right now. Eight ice cubes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. Twenty-two, pretty close. Zero that out. Thirty grams of protein. It should be pretty close to one scoop. Thirty grams. 
And we want 40 grams of Cafe Latte Shakeology. This stuff is so good. 40 grams, here we go. Close enough, 39. Good enough. Water. Wash that in a minute. As you can see, it's amazing. It tastes just like something you get at Starbucks. it captures it but super moon whenever it's called a, a super moon that's why it's a super moon because it's closest to earth and that's why it's bright also you know what you know what <laughs> i don't want to know i think you're super <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs>